Welcome Sagittarius Capricorn to your September 10th through the 15th reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay guys, let's see what's going on with you. Best message please for September 10th through the 15th. Wow, okay in reverse not feeling like you have a, the stability that you're really looking for at this time so feeling a little in a little unstable not feeling like the golden emperor that you really want you might even feel like you have somebody around you who's manipulating you a little bit as well why do i feel there's two different things going on here okay guys in this reading i'm going to go ahead and talk about the finances and the love or some kind of relationship that's going on because the relationship's really coming in but so is the in instability of some kind of, of career market, um, could be a project that you're working on at work, something of this nature. So some kind of approach that's going on that uh, feels like it's kind of switching up on you. So I do feel kind of a switch up. <clears throat> and remember, just take what resonates, what doesn't resonate, go ahead, throw away. It's meant for somebody, it might not be meant for you. Okay, so we have the chariot coming out. We're just talking about moving in the directions that you really need to move in to feel like you're having the victory that you need. Once again, there's the two that I keep feeling. So I do feel like one is some kind of relationship and also the other one is some kind of career job movement. If you have one and not the other, that's fine. Um, like I say, you can throw that away. But for a lot of you, I do feel that there is two in one here. Trying to use your intuition for the situation with a high priestess. Um, so there is definitely a lot of intuitiveness going on around you. You might even have some kind of secret desire that you're holding really deep to yourself. It might even be about the love or the career. However, it is. could even be two in one. Ooh, if you are, be careful fragmenting energy, my friend. Okay. But you are definitely feeling guarded right now towards something or someone. So your guards are up. Something is sparking where you feel like you have to make boundaries for this situation. I feel that one's for a person. I'm sorry. It feels like, you know what? Don't back me into a corner right now. Don't you see that I'm trying to do something right now? Whoa. Did you see I'm trying to do my finances right now? You're backing me in a corner or something of this nature. But it does feel like you are grounded and you are ready to put up a fight if you need to put up a fight. Now, that's what's crazy too because it's almost like to the point where it's like you've pushed me so back to where you're overstepping your boundaries that I've put up. That, you know, I'm building a moat so much. You know, that if you get any closer, my alligator, you know, my alligators are going to eat you. Um, yeah, and it's almost to that point to where it's almost like for someone, you could actually jump, right? Because they're really overdoing the boundaries. Someone is really pissed off about the situation, um, and you do have this really angry person around you. It could be a Leo. It doesn't have to be. But somebody is very jealous and very angry about the situation. And this is what's keeping you guarded about the situation. In fact, we could even put this card over here because it even feels like it should probably be there. Um, over here, it's making it unsatisfactory. And this is where you're feeling with the high priestess. that You know what? This is what's unsatisfactory to me, but I'm still holding deep to my own intuitions and the things that really I truly want and desire for myself and really having this secret motive going on around you, right? Oh my God, what is this? What is this? The Queen of Cups, upside down, revengeful. Hey, you know what? It didn't matter now, right? Because now Spirit's saying, you know what? You can put this over here if you want to because this is going to go over here anyways. So it really didn't matter if I moved him or not, guys, because now you have a revengeful person who's really pissed off. One way or another, it didn't matter which way it is because no matter what, you're still guarding yourself. Um, this even could be two different even women. You could have one woman over here who's a Leo who's really upset with you and have one over here that's really revengeful. Oh my gosh, is that where the other two is coming from? Is that where? Whoa. Okay. I'm just going with it because now, okay, finances and another person. You know, it could be two people. No matter what, this feels, this feels like relationships, personal relationships, not work, but personal relationships. One is really upset and the other is very vengeful. And you're feeling like you're just in the middle going, I don't know what the hell is going on. 
but I do see the finances as well. Now, this is really going to take more of an action towards these people more than the finances, but the finances still coming in. So, still going there. We'll get there in a minute. Going strong, not feeling the victory within the situation of the Nine of Cups, or, I'm sorry, Eight of Cups. Okay, so... You're trying to get your victory over here within the instability of your life going back to the finances over here with that you have a personal desire that you're really trying to push through it's really upsetting you though that you cannot get your finger around the situation you're going to put a lot of intuition that you can strive for to really put um into what it is you really are victorious about remember i said something about fragmenting energy it feels like whoever the vengeful person is they're kind of throwing your intuition off on how you're going to salvage for everything else because they've got you thinking outside of everything um so you might even feel they're kind of doing some kind of switch up i don't know like i said i keep hearing this switch up let's see what's going on over here trying to get to your victory very determined, oh my God, very determined and really looking inside the box over here and really perceiving how it is you're going to get to this victory of this, this situation, whether, you know what I mean? Really feel like for a lot of you, that's the finance piece right there with the King of Cups. The King of Cups is saying, keeping myself emotionally balanced as much as possible and really working rough and tough over here and self-assured that I can actually do what I need to do within this situation. Um, not putting up so much of a challenge or borders around that because that's where it feels like um, huh, your borders are kind of, oh, they caught you off guard. Oh. Oh, that's what it was. So you're over here looking at, looking this way. And while you're looking this way, maybe they hadn't been here for a while because we're in Mercury retrograde, so things want to come back around, so maybe that's how they caught you off guard, so now all of a sudden you're like, oh no, shit, I gotta put up my boundaries, because you, you caught me slipping. So, yeah, page of wands, you didn't expect them to travel back to you at all. Oh my gosh, that's what's going on, they caught you slipping. Because you out of sight, out of mind, right? This could have been months ago they did this, or you guys had this fight, or however, but the Mercury retrograde comes back around for some of you, and then it brings this crap back up, so you're like, oh, I put down my boundaries and stuff because you were gone, now all of a sudden here you come back. Yeah, I caught you slipping. Hmm. Trying to fight, cause an argument, but you're not going to go back that way. Don't go back that way. So with the Queen of Cups, wow. Okay. Okay, then. So the Queen of Cups over here, this person is revengeful, unfaithful, revengeful, um, resentful, grudgeful. They're not going to rest easy because they're all inside their head. I'm going to tell you right now, Mercury Retrograde's got them all in their mind. Um, they're really having anxiety about the situation. They're looking for all the open doors on how they're going to come to you, trying to use anything and everything to get back to you. And this makes you the emperor upside down. Bam. Why? Because now you're having a hard time getting balanced, not only because you were so worried about, we'll say, uh, maybe work or whatever the other piece is um, of the instability. Um, but now it's actually caught you off guard on this area too. So you don't feel like you're getting the satisfactory doing some reflection work and traveling back to where you need to travel back to, to where the grass is greener. And then you have this person over here who's mad. These are two different people. Queen of Cups and the Queen of Wands are two different entities. You've got this other person who's trying to also travel back. They don't want to travel toward you because they're pissed off at you. You know, that could be a Taurus. That Leo could actually be a Taurus. This Taurus is pissed. This Taurus is really upset with you. If we don't want to use the word baby mad, then they're very super duper duper disappointed. I'm sorry, they're mad. <laughs> but they don't want to travel towards you because they feel like their prosperities can be somewhere else. Yep, they don't see any prosperity with you. If anything, they, they don't. I'm sorry, they just don't. They don't see anything there. Um, they're nurturing themselves. They feel like whatever they're doing is what they want to do. Um, so they, they are pretty much, they don't see the nurturing in this situation. 
the way that they may once have, they don't see it prospering. They don't see it harvesting. They don't see any any anything to this. So they doesn't look like they're going to come back, and that's going to throw you off guard too. So it's almost like maybe you think that they're going to be nice. It doesn't mean they're not nice to you, but they are upset with you. So it almost feels like at this time here, maybe around the 11th or the 12th, maybe you feel like, you know, they're coming kind of coming back towards me, but they're not coming towards you, though, the way you think that they are. You see what I'm saying? They're not. They're still really upset about the situation that you guys had or some kind of falling out about. And I don't know. You definitely have two different energies over here. Yeah, and Three of Cups. Because the Three of Cups is whatever the one is, plus the Queen, plus the Queen. Might as well say Four of Cups. Yes. Right? I'm just using it as Three of Cups because it's going to be you, probably personal relationships and finances. The finances, on the other hand, um, there is some kind of risk that, that you are going to take and something that is coming through. On that area, there is something that's going to be kind of up in the air for the situation. I'll look at more at the finances in just a second because this energy right here is coming through so strong um, on this personal relationship of the Ace of Cups. There's no no love at this time for the situation. There's definitely three people. You and two other people in this, scenario, in this situation and three again. But it does feel like that third, you know, like I said before, you, your finances, and the person, and if it's not finances, something else. It looks like this something else is going to actually take over the personal because it looks like that's where you're going to give most of the attention to anyways in the end because of the three of wands. So it's almost like you've bound me up into a corner. You know, you get me all in my head and do all these things, but the more you're reflecting, you're actually traveling towards what it is that you truly want more through the situation than what they're trying to give you. So if I clarify on the Hermit and the Nine of Coins, we're getting not taking a risk with these people, walking away from them. That's not going to suit me so I can get my victories. Yeah, you're going to be more worried about the other piece than these two people who are, yeah, because you have hopes and promises and it could be a big kind of promotion or something coming through um, that you're more worried about at this time than worrying about what they're doing. Yeah, because they're just trying to thieve your energy and trying to hold you down and put you in some kind of fear base. Um, situation, but you're really manifesting and really taking the magic back and holding tight to it's, yeah, yeah, holding tight to things because it feels like it's a little unfair for them to do what they're doing and they're kind of trying to give you a tower moment within yourself. Um, when it comes to there, it is love when it comes to love. So, the love relationship of the situation is no bueno. Um, let's get another deck of cards because let's look at this financial piece because it's saying I'm more worried about what's going on over here than I am more than what's what you're giving me for love because maybe I already know that they're pissed off at you. Maybe they're even more pissed off now than they were before. Maybe they were just upset. Now they're really pissed. You see what I'm saying? However it is, um, it doesn't really matter. The point is, as you're saying, it don't matter. Because um, I'm more worried over here about what my money is. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Yeah, looking into the directions of what I really truly need for the fresh new start of what's going on. So you already have the communication of what it is you really need through, we're going to say finance, okay? Because that's where it's showing. You're saying there is, right now I'm having a, I'm not doing real good. It could even be a horrific time. Okay, so there is definitely something that you need to take the, the risk and the leap of faith at. And it's mostly the way that you're perceiving things and that you're getting to the up the ladder. Oh my gosh, for the communication. Something that's moving kind of slow right now, but you're definitely on your way to seeing something. You just need the inner strength. So this is going to open up the doors for you. But you need to stay away from the person and these people who are trying to thieve things from you. Because definitely this other people are becoming very immature and leaving kind of footmarks and footprints of bad energy around you. 
Um, so you definitely want to patiently plan on what it is you truly need so that you can become more simplified and really holding on to the dreams that you really need. Wow. Okay, guys, so seeing it in this different kind of way and the retrograde shadow really, you know, kind of screw, screwed you up over here on the third or so um, when it came to the money area. Um, but definitely around, you know, this area, you're going to find that, hey, you know what, it's all good, though, because it's there's going to be some kind of orientation or something going on to where you're going to feel like you might have a little bit more of a better reputation when it comes to what's going on in the building blocks. Why? Because you're going to hermit yourself probably this weekend to get to the next week, right? So you can have this happen. This is the 10th through the 15th. So definitely having some kind of orientation or big meeting or something coming out that you definitely need to, you know, put all your creative, um, you know, endeavors and, and imagination and all the things that you need to get ready um, for this big, big thing for the majority of what's really going on. For those of you who don't have that, you just throw that away. But there is definitely someone out there or a couple of you, it has to be more than a couple because it's too strong of an energy coming through that's saying, I have these contracts that I need to do. There's been delays before where it didn't work out. So I have to kind of start new contracts or I have to really push my ideas um, for this promotion of this project out. Um, and it has to be done a little bit different because you don't want to revisit what happened in the third, right? September 3rd, the very beginning of the month where it didn't go through. Somebody, you know, threw a curveball or or, you know, rushed in and did something different or took it away from me or however it was. So to have the, the climax really of the resolution of the finances, my friends, is really going to become the biggest piece of the situation. And then having to really release all of these other people over here and say, you know, I'm sorry that you all feel this way. I'm sorry, you know, because they're just kind of, like I said, stealing your energy from you. Right, your thoughts, putting you into some kind of, you know, mind over matter situation. You need to toss all that into the trash at this time so that you can get to where you really need. That way you can get your emperor back to where you're in boss mode. I would like to see this this way at the end of the month, my friends. 100. Um, I'm, that's what we're all praying for. To have that emperor in, in boss mode. That way it can say the conversations and the plans that I've been doing. I am more simplified because this is what I'm really going after and this is where I'm going to try to keep myself humble, you know, um, and just feeling really good about the situation. So I would really like to really, you know, see that really come through and, you know, because it's saying there, there is this new way of looking at something. You just have to really take you know, control over that. So using a lot of your throat chakra is going to really help with that creativity at that time. And then of course your sacral and your um, solar plexus to get to your root chakra real open, right? So well, let's see how that's going to pan out for you guys. Okay. And that was it for you until next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye.
Thank you.